Hey everyone, Brickhouse here with another video. Um, this one I gotta say falls right in line with woke Hollywood. That as long as you're on one side of the political spectrum, or I should say the woke spectrum, you can say whatever the heck you want and not have to worry about being canceled. Whereas if you fall on the other side, the more conservative side, if you were to say this, you would be canceled immediately. So the double standard still applies, even on King Charles's coronation day. So this is from Breitbart, Netflix's Queen Charlotte star says she didn't mean to upset people by calling the British royal family terribly white. One of the stars of Netflix's Queen Charlotte has dissed the British royal family as quote unquote terribly white, saying the family's post coronation photo op on the Buckingham Palace balcony was sorely lacking in diversity. She later issued a quasi-apology saying she didn't mean to upset anyone with her comment. Actress Joa Andoa, who plays Lady Agatha Dansbury, or Danbury, in Netflix's Bridgerton universe, appeared Saturday on ITV's coverage of King Charles III's coronation. While Ando expressed satisfaction with the coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey, which featured a panoply of ethnicities and religions, she was less impressed with what followed. And I'm going to go ahead and play the video for you here. Give me one second. So hopefully you'll be able to hear this. Okay, the audio was really low there, so I'm just gonna read the tweet. Bridgerton star and Joa Ando calls the British royal family terribly white. Imagine someone talking like this on live TV about any other race. Now, like earlier in the article, Andoa later issued a quasi-apology after her comment provoked vehement responses from viewers. I think I upset a few people yesterday, she reportedly said on BBC Radio 4's Sunday morning show with Patty O'Connell. I was talking about the day on how marvelous it was, and then looking at the balcony at the end and suddenly going, oh, it's so white, because the day had been so mixed, and I didn't mean to upset anybody. As Breitbart News reported, Endo wasn't the only leftist to obsess over the royal family's whiteness on Saturday. Like clockwork, leftists used coronation to complain about royal family being too white. This is why I resist author and frequent royal critic, 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 I just channeled my inner Barry Kripty, Dr. Shola Mosogbaminimu, I butchered that one, accused the royals of upholding white supremacy. The ideology of white supremacy is literally, metaphorically, and symbolically the bread and butter of British monarchy and... Superbly, superbly exemplified on Buckingham Palace balcony while the multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-race isms stay below where they belong, she tweeted. Now again, if this was reversed, there would be cries for this actress's firing from Bridgerton, from Queen Charlotte, and there'd be cries to cancel her. But because she falls within a certain political ideology and she is a person of color, it's quite okay to be racist in reverse. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. Share your opinion. Uh, please like this video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and be notified when my uh, videos are uploaded on YouTube and Rumble and now Odyssey uh, on a daily basis. And um, that's all I have for now, guys. So we will see you in the next video.